Okay, in the first two videos, we talked about the basics of the focus exercise and how we can uh, create a, uh, uh, the ability for the dog to look away when we do encounter another dog. Now, what we're going to find is we're going to look for a park or somewhere where we're going to find a path where I have kind of a triangular field of vision. So everything between my arms here, I can see. Everything from here on, I can't see on the path. And the path, line of traffic on the path is coming this way. So what I do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have him on this side for now. Well, actually, let's put you over here. Come here, buddy. So I have him on a leash, and I want to find the distance that he will stay sitting and take a treat when I'm holding it like this while he's watching the other dogs. If he won't take the treat or looks or, uh, or gets up out of a sit, I'm too close. Hmm. So find the distance so that I can he can do this. Once I do this and I see over here a dog is about to come into the clearing, I have him on a leash, so I pull out a treat. Uh, I don't pull out a treat. I could have one. Um, but I'm just going to basically put him in a sit, and I'm going to transfer my, uh, as soon as that dog's coming in, into vision, I'm going to transfer my look, my vision down to here and watch him. And as soon as he sees that other dog, he's going to... Mm -hmm. So as soon as he does that, I'm given one second count. If he doesn't, then I say, turn and I say, focus. 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 Now again, we talked about elongating this movement. Mm -hmm. So I can make this slow enough, so by the time he gets the treat, the other dog is, is almost past. So I'm going to keep on doing it this at this particular distance until I can get five dogs in a row that are, well, actually, not five dogs in a row. What will eventually happen, the reason we wait a one second pause is I want to program him essentially so that when he sees the other dog, he looks up at me without me having to give him the focus command. So that's why I would give him the one second pause. If after one second he doesn't automatically look at me, then I give him the focus command and do the same thing. Now, what will eventually happen is he's going to see the dog and immediately look up at you. We call this the autofocus. Mm -hmm. As soon as he does that, what I would do is pull out five trees and be like, focus, focus. Give him five in a row, pretty quick su uh, succession. We want him to be like, what did I just do? I got the mother load of treats yeah. and they were delicious. Okay. How do I make that happen again? So then the next dog comes by, he might not do the same thing. That's fine. So we keep on practicing at this distance until five times in a row he sees a dog come and immediately gives you the autofocus. And when you get the autofocus, that should be a highlight of your day. That's a great one to quit on. Um, you keep on practicing this distance until you get five times in a row where he sees a dog and sits down and looks up at you. Then we take two steps closer to the path and we keep practicing. And we keep on doing this until we get five auto watches in a row at that distance before we move on and get closer and closer. Now the key is not to push too far too fast. If you get him too close and he's only doing three and then he's lunging at the other dog, if he lunges at the other dog, you ruined the whole exercise. So it's better to be cautious and pull the plug early than late. Now for this one, again, we don't want them to get frustrated, so we want to keep these relatively short, but you're not going to have consistent control over how many dogs come by. So try not to make the exercise too long. But eventually, you're going to be able to collapse that distance until you're, the path is right in front of you, and he's watching, the, he sees the other dog, he looks up at you, you're giving him the, the focus exercise, or the treat for focusing, and he's paying attention to you. Now, the other thing you can do is, uh, I started to describe this in another video we actually aborted, but when he's coming, when you get to this distance, you could do some standard counter conditioning, having him on the leash, watching the dog as it passes by. Mm -hmm. So now he's having a positive reinforcer delivered at the same time he has a visual acuity of a stimulus that he normally reacts to. After a while, the brain will conflate the two. And then he sees another dog and he associates the arrival of other dogs means I get these high value treats.